Hey everyone, Merrick here, and this is Soul Zero Mars Colonization. Soul Zero Mars Colonization is a game that's, well, about colonizing Mars. It's a little RTS developed by Chondrite Games, a small indie studio, I think, based out of New Hampshire. Uh, this game is in early beta, and it's available to buy on itch.io. I stumbled across this by, you know, just accident looking for for new games to kind of try out that I haven't seen a lot of gameplay of so I picked this game up I think it was 399 something like that currently in in beta so it looks fun uh, it has a demo on the website I'd really recommend checking that out uh, so I haven't played very much of it I did the tutorial where you kind of learn how to build bases and how to survive and stuff like that and so here we are on the red planet I've had a little bit of trouble getting Fraps recording it, so I've skipped through the main menu and the supplies launch to go ahead and start off with a little bit of a colony. Well, the, the makings of a colony. So, the developer recommends that you bring plenty of supplies and that you start off by sending rovers. Now, rovers are slow. They have to explore out their surroundings, which is what we're going to set this rover up to do here. And these guys will find supplies and minerals that you'll need. So you can see that we're getting messages that the rover has discovered clay and ice. Ice will obviously use for water, and clay we will use for something I don't know yet. So we're setting up this rover's little path here. I have another one. Uh, because these guys, they take a little while to get to get around. It's a big planet. Ooh, we've got some ore. Okay, so we're going to route this guy this way. What we're looking for is a pocket of methane. Because we want to be able to start harvesting methane for return shipment fuels. Or return flight fuels. So let's set up these routes here, kind of zigzag around, see what we can discover, and then we'll focus in on areas that really interest us. There we go. Alright. You have a maximum of, I don't know what, I guess this far, that you can do for an exploration yeah. route, which is actually a pretty good distance. Oh, we got some methane right over here. That's nice. Now I believe that each time you load in a map, uh, the resource spawns are random, but I'm not 100% sure on this because this looks similar to my first attempt at this. Uh, didn't get any further than this. I got a second launch in and then the game crashed. It really does not like fraps. So we'll see how much we can get done in our short 20 minute episodes without crashing. I do believe a lot of the setup time we're going to spend just kind of getting the first episode of, of explanations out of the way and then I'll do a lot of this ex exploration and setup that needs to be done off camera and then we'll start sending astronauts and colonists in the future to you know build our new human empire on Mars which I'm really excited about I, I really hope that I'm alive to see man go to Mars I uh, just I love space as I've said before. So, I hope I've said it before. If not, I love space. And I want to go to space. But since I'm not in space right now, I play space games. This series won't be a daily series. Um, unless I get enough requests to make it a daily series. It's more than likely going to run in place of Darkest Dungeon. Um, on a fairly irregular schedule. Uh, I'm going to mix in some Star Citizen. I've got my account set up there and a couple of ships picked up so I'll definitely be doing some Star Citizen runs soon to show that off. A huge fan of Star Citizen. I backed it to Kickstarter. Oh, we got stuck. Come on. Come on. Oh. No. Okay. He's... There we go. These little guys, I'm telling you, they're not the best, but they will do. Let's 
get a good sampling over here that'll do got a huge amount of minerals here and here which are really exciting I think this is all clay a little bit of water which we'll need some methane which was since this is a nice empty spot we're going to put a lander right there oh I did not mean to hit that so let's hit this and there we go now you guys can see what it takes to load up a lander with stuff that we will need so we're gonna bring a forklift so that we can carry our supplies we're gonna bring a methane extractor and the rest of this is going to be water and there's the launch okay I have to skip right now or it'll crash let's hopefully I skip soon enough I wanted you guys to be able to see the launch without it freaking out if it crashes I'll try to get back into the game but it looks like we're good so we're going to put this um, here All right, hopefully that doesn't invalidate that methane source because I want to put the methane extractor out there we are methane extractor and you can start picking up supplies so go bring those supplies over here we're going to start our colony probably right here for mining purposes can I refuel required to launch fuel 18 percent okay so he's getting fuel that's awesome so he needs 640 liters of methane and 160 liters of water alright for some reason every time we launch these guys get reset so we're going to see if we can't get these guys back on track let's go around there I want you to zigzag your way across here oh he did not like that and you're supposed to be exploring there buddy alright let's Let's move you and reroute you. Here we go. Doing it all over again. Alright, it's not a big deal. This is why they don't let me drive the, the Mars rover, as it is, because I'm very inefficient with my pathing. Do, 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 do. Merrick don't care for your scientific needs. He wants to see everything. There we go. Or it can be extracted with a mining vehicle. Gypsum is required for research at the biology lab, allowing for farming techniques. Sweet, so we've got gypsum so we can do some farming. So I think right in this area here is where we're going to plop down our base. And this this is getting ready to launch which is really exciting uh oh I hear meteorites I thought I did so I have meteor showers turned on which means we can be bombarded alright we got a nice little methane stash over here turn the resource nodes on so we'll put a methane extractor right there it should be able to get a good supply of methane for fuel alright I think the next shipment will be food and a person and we'll see if he can if he can live we may be jumping the gun I don't know but we'll find out one of the the missions on here is to found a colony and get it to a certain point without any deaths I could tell you right now during this first playthrough we will not get there Just people are gonna die because I don't know what I'm doing and they put me in charge and they are gonna die for it but we do have plenty of supplies look at all that we discovered a bunch of ice which is good we can set up water extraction in fact, I want you to cancel your route. Go there, and I want you to actually route 
to there with exploration and then I want you to find all the water and all the minerals so that I know exactly where I can and cannot land yeah let's have you do that instead of doinking around back there if we went doinking around we've got this guy here so you go there 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 just your general gooby little path All right, so what we're really interested in is what he discovers. I'm going to name you Sergio, the robot. Hopefully he discovers a little bit more water than that. I'm not sure what these values stand for, but that's a good bit of water, so we should be okay to put a colony there. I think the, the, my standard gamer logic is the larger the spikes, the better the source is. So we don't have an automated builder so if we want to do any building at the next launch we're going to have to bring a person. So we need food. I don't know how we can tell how much water we have. 172 liters. This is using water to do methane refueling so that was a bad idea. But at least still have like an emergency escape vehicle. If things get really desperate, we can just bounce. I'm not sure if that's how that works. We also have a little bit of water here, so water is definitely going to be a concern, which is kind of obvious. We're we're on a barren planet. We don't know if water even really exists there. All right, next launch is available. Here we go. We're gonna bring some people. Uh, all right, and we can do an astronaut. We're gonna bring a bunch of food. We're gonna bring a bunch of water. We've got plenty of supplies. Uh... Okay, we maxed out our food. Maxed out our water. Good. Alright. Here we go. I'm just gonna skip the launch and go straight for it. No crashy, no crashy, no crashy. Hey! No crashy, no crashy, no crashy, please? Alright, we didn't crash. Fantastic. Okay, let's turn the map back on. We're gonna land right here which should give us the ability to build over here. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to have you build a water thing right there. I think that looks good. And we're going to have you automate the building. And you can go back to exploring. Let's route you like this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more focused on our people. Can you science? Okay, explore your way. Uh, what did I be doing? There we go. Let's get it back on routing. There, 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 there. Or you can just move straight, that's fine. Alright, so now we're collecting water, which is great. Okay, so we don't have enough power, so we're gonna build a solar panel array. Um, right there. Don't die, Mr. Astronaut Man. Alright, so he's gonna finish that. Come here, astronaut. Dust Devil imminent. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Okay, so we're going to build a hallway. And... We've got to wait for the Dust Devil to die down. Hopefully these don't last too long. I don't want him to drown. Or not to drown. <laughs> to starve to death. But I, 
I need it to go away. You're in my building area. Okay, so I want you to build that there. You've still got... Do you still have boxes? Go get boxes. Right, let's have you route your butt around like this. Do more exploration, my friend. Find more supplies! Okay, and now I need you to build a habitat. Alright, so we're doing that. We've got a 3 kilowatt draw right now, which is okay. We're getting plenty of water, which is fantastic. We want plenty of water. Alright, so I don't want to be in charge of managing people on Mars. That's what I've already learned. Alright, I want you to route over here. Let's get you exploring all this area up here that we haven't explored yet. Alright, there we go. And you, and you, and there we go. Alright, go do your exploration. I've got to focus on my friend here. Okay. Alright, so we have a refuel. Oh, well, you're stuck. We have refueled our spacecraft, which is great. You can't move, can you? Come on. There we are. Just click the move button a couple times, it'll be fine. Okay, so we've discovered clay. Alright, fella, you've been working hard. Let's get you an oxygen generator built. The way they taught us in the tutorial. And then we'll put down another solar array. Base, do you read me? I do read you. They talk. Oh, that's great. I'm glad they talk. So we need a methane extractor put there. Um, I want to kind of get a place for our little astronauts to go into so they don't have to live in their spacesuit anymore. What do you mean no supplies are available? We have... Oh, we're out of supplies? Oh, no. Base, I need more supplies! Base, do you read me? I do. Okay. Let's open you up and let you get some oxygen. Got a meteor shower. I don't know where it's coming in at. Okay, it's over there. That's fine. Methane lost due to evaporation. Crippled a part of the colony? What part of the colony is crippled? Oh, that left. Took out our rover. Whatever. Hey, you can go inside now. Command. Alright, so the next thing we want to build is a launch pad. But we don't have supplies for it. We don't even have supplies for that. Okay, so... What supplies do we have? We've got one box of supplies. Frozen pipes? <gasps> no, we don't have enough power. Uh, can you build oxygen? Or no, not oxygen. Uh, can you build solar power with that? No. Ball bag. Okay, uh, we are going to have you destroy, um, I guess that. Do we get supplies back if you do this? We do! Fantastic. Yeah, we got an air leak. I'll just shut the door there. It's fine. Okay, there we go. We got more wa more power. We got seven kilowatts of power now. Or we have twelve kilowatts of power. So we lost all of our methane. No, we didn't lose all our methane. 
Oh, we can do another launch. Sweet. I want supplies. Lots of supplies. Lots of food. And... Some water, I guess. I only have one type of rocket right now. Yeah, that's all I want right now, but we're about to build a launch pad and bring people in. Oh, this is exciting. As long as we don't crash, everything will be fine because I haven't saved. Alright, so we're going to pop that down. We're going to land you somewhere hopefully harmless. All right, there we go. So now we have more supplies. It's our oxygen generator. I want you to build a habitat. Let's get that put back. We've got six more supplies after that. So can I, can I launch you? Will you take the methane extractor with you? Okay, bye! Bye. <laughs> so that happened. Um, well, that, that's that, I guess. Let's put you back on explorer mode route you through here okay so that's done we want to build a launch pad a launch pad apparently takes up a buku ton of room so we're going to put you uh, oh man what do I want to get rid of to launch build a launch pad Oh, it has to have a habitat tube with it. Well, crap. I don't know that we're going to be able to build a launch pad Base, now. do you read me? Let's try building a habitat tube. I'd really like the launch pad to go in, like, like down here. Copy. You, go over here. You're kind of annoying me getting stuck on that hill. Tell me if I can build here, buddy. So I've got to be really careful about what I get rid of. Alright, we can build there. Base, do you read me? Alright, well, they're going to have to wait. Why can't I build there? Go repair this. Command. Copy. Go. Repair that. Why are you getting stuck? I don't understand. Okay, so there we go. Got some weird pathing going on. Gonna mainly move our astronaut friend over here and say, repair that, get the dust out. Okay. Now we're going to build a hallway. Now we're not going to build a hallway. Come on. Go pick up a thing. Come on. Base, do you read me? I do, but I need you Base, to. Base, do you read? Base, do you read? I need you to pick up some supplies from our supply bot here. There you go. Now, can you build a hallway? No, you can't. Why can't you build a hallway? Uh, 
tab, 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 tab. Okay, so we are stuck on building. I'm going to call this episode here. We went a little longer than I intended. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing this game. I'd really like to continue um, making a series out of this game. Uh, so if you really enjoyed this, click a like, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, this series is going to be kind of hit and run, and we'll see what we can do with it. And if you guys really enjoy it, I'll just keep pumping it out. Um, so yeah, if, if you have any comments, leave them below, let me know. Uh, if, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to see more videos like this, hopefully with a little bit more cohesion at the end, apologize for that, um, click the subscribe button and YouTube will be kind enough to let you know when I get fresh content up. All that being rambled out, I'll see you next time.